What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be doing the 16 team playoff challenge. That's uh, Six Rings of Steel and Crushables Div. Basically we're gonna take control of 16 teams and we are going to try to get them to the playoffs. And we want those to be the only team. So eight from the West, eight from the East, see how many of them we can get in one season into the playoffs. Basically there's not a lot of rules to it. Obviously not gonna change any sliders, but I can make trades between the teams and everything. But yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's pick our teams. But before that, I have to let you know that over half of you are watching this video right now are not subscribed. And I would greatly appreciate if that changed and you guys would hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload and also like this video. Let's try and get 50 likes. Now let's hop into it. So to pick our teams, I figured I would just spin a wheel and try and just write down the names because it's going to be too hard to go into 2K and like, keep like shifting through and like oh i need a west team east team so i'm just gonna go this way and we're just gonna go ahead and get into it so the first spin obviously like i said eight in the east eight in the west um the nuggets that's a good team to have i want good teams obviously because they don't want to have to make as many moves um so the nuggets are gonna be the first team so we got one out west who is going to be our second team i'll oh, give me the bucks Let's go. I thought that was gonna be the Bulls. That is the Bucks. That's gonna be great. Having the Bucks, they definitely should make the playoffs. Um, the Mavericks also should make the playoffs, so that's good. Um, so we got two out west, one out east. Who else can we get? Trailblazers? All right, Blazers are out west as well, and we definitely should be able to make the playoffs with them. If I can avoid like New York, Charlotte, New York wouldn't be terrible because I could make some trades and make it happen. Memphis is good, so we got four out west. Uh, but like, you know, New York and Charlotte wouldn't be the best. Um, who are some other teams? I want to get like the Wizards the or the Warriors, the Lakers, those type of teams. The Raptors is clutch, so that's another Eastern Conference team. So we have six total teams, so that means we have ten more to go. Oh, uh, Detroit's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Okay, so we got the Pistons. Not good, but I mean, I need a challenge too. I can't just get teams that are for sure going to make it. We already got Denver, so we will spin again. Who do we got? Brooklyn. That's perfect. Brooklyn is awesome because, as you know, we will have everybody healthy, so we'll have KD and Kyrie, and we should be able to make the playoffs with Brooklyn. Cleveland, though, that one is kind of rough. So we'll get Cleveland. We now have five out east and three or four out west. So we need four more in the west, three more in the east. We're just over halfway done. Miami. Wow. Way better than Charlotte. Miami is way better. So we got the Heat. So we got Jimmy, Bam, all those guys. The Celtics. Give me the Celtics. Let's go. Celtics is clutch as well. So we have six, seven seven in the eastern conference so one more in the east we need four more out west the pelicans would be clutch okay we're gonna get the pelicans um the thing about the pelicans i might end up trading zion if i have to to try and get somebody away from a team and somebody that's just gonna be better because i it's only one year so zion doesn't have a chance to develop i know he's already good but we need to um we need to have somebody that's for sure gonna get us to the playoffs not sure if zion will do that or not Next, we will get the Spurs. They have some big contracts, so I should be able to make stuff work there. So that is now six. So we have one more out east to get two more out west. Who are we going to get? Give me the Lakers. Yes, we got LA. That is beautiful. Um, I would love to get the Clippers and then out east. Um, who would be good to get out east yet? Maybe someone like, um, you know, Indiana wouldn't be too bad. Who else could be out east? Um, I don't really know. Washington wouldn't be terrible because you'd have John Wall healthy as well. Atlanta's not bad. We'll go with Atlanta out east. So Atlanta. And let's see. That is eight out east. So eight and we're done. And we need one more out west. Huh. Give me the Clippers. Please give me the Clippers. We already got the Nuggets. So it's been again. We've landed the Nuggets like three times. Okay, who are we going to get? We need somebody out west, so we can't have the Bulls. Who are we going to get? Sacramento or Utah would be cool, too. We can't get Charlotte because we already are done with the Eastern Conference. Give me... Oh, Philly would have been a good team. We're going to have to do something for Philly. We might have to trade Zion to Philly or something. 
um, and try and get Embiid away from them. The Grizzlies would be good. Do we have the Grizzlies? Oh, we do have the Grizzlies already. Okay, so this is taking absolutely forever. Just give me somebody out west. We're already done with the east. I just keep landing on teams we already have or teams that are in the east. Oh my. This is getting ridiculous. Just give me the Thunder or something. Phoenix, Phoenix, perfect. The Suns, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, perfect. All right, those eight teams, I will go over to 2K, take control of those teams, and we will see if we can get this done. Okay, so we are here in 2K, and now we have to start rebuilding these 16 teams. Um, The Bucks should be fine to make the playoffs. Basically, what I'm thinking is we have to go to the teams that are really bad, and we have to get players from like the Clippers who we didn't get, you know, those the 76ers, those teams that are good, um, and we are not controlling them. We have to try and go get players that way. So this rebuild is going to be kind of cheesy. They said we can do whatever we want. I'm pretty sure Six Rings um, friends ended up making this challenge. And yeah, I'm going to make some moves that aren't going to seem like they make much sense. But um, the Bucks, I think, are good to make the playoffs. So let's go Cavaliers need a lot of help. So basically, we don't have the Warriors. So if I can do something with the Cavs to get someone from the Warriors, I will do that. So what I'm going to do is be kind of cheesy here. And we are going to propose a trade to the Bucks, right? So we're going to go and we will use picks with the Bucks. We'll try and get their 2020 pick and this 2021 Bucks pick. And I will basically just send them back like someone that's not good you know like dean wade or something um and they have to send me back someone else and that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna be really cheesy about this um give me back like the nasus onto Takumpo. and i'm controlling both teams so i'm gonna accept that so we have that player uh or we have those picks to help trade for a player and the player i'm gonna try and get is on the warriors i'm pretty sure we're gonna try and get like Stephen Curry. So if we can go Steph, we will throw you... Um, well, hold on. We're going to make Deon or Andre Drummond a power forward to make his uh, overall go up. Actually, no. We're going to try and do this without throwing Drummond in there. We're going to try and throw Kevin Love in there. So let's go ahead to the Warriors. Steph, we will throw you Kevin Love. And I will also give you... Um, Kevin Porter Jr., Okay, they don't want to do that. Um, so we will throw in this 2020 pick and this 2020 pick. And they don't want to do that either. So we will also throw in this 2021 Cavs pick. And we'll also throw in this pick. Okay, they are not going to be trading us Stephen Curry. Um, okay. So maybe we go try and get Clay Thompson from them instead. So let's go ahead, try and get Clay. We will throw them Kevin Love and this first round pick and also this first round pick. And what about this first round pick? Okay, what about a pick down here in the future? Like 2023 pick? And I will also give them maybe like Kevin Porter Jr. Wow, they do not want to give me Clay Thompson. Okay, um, no trade offers found for Clay. Okay, well, let's focus on someone else then. Celtics should be good. Grizzlies, um, team could definitely upgrade a little bit. So let's go ahead and try and find somebody for Valanciunas. So if we take Valanciunas and we throw in like this first round pick, can we upgrade a little bit there at center? Chris Middleton, I don't really want to take somebody off Milwaukee, but I could because Milwaukee's team is really solid. They should make the playoffs with just Giannis anyways. Um, we could do this, but that makes the Cavs worse. Um, but that's something we could do. Kemba Walker, Montrez Harrell, we could try and get Harrell. Um, Clint Capella, we have the Hawks already. The Miami Heat, we are we are the Miami Heat. Mavericks, we're the Mavericks too. Nets, Nuggets, we have Yoke. Wow, they would give up Jokic for this? Not good. Um, Victor Oladipo, TJ Warren, Derrick Rose, Pascal Siakam. We're the Raptors, too. We're not going to be doing that. 
Uh, we're the Suns. The Thunder. We are not the Thunder, but I don't see much in that trade. We're not the Timberwolves either. So if we could go and get like Carl Anthony Town somehow, that would be really good actually. So let's go ahead and try and get like Cap. So Timberwolves, we'll give you um, Valanciunas and we'll also give you like, we'll give you Tyus back. And then I will give you this pick. And I will give you um, this pick. And I will give you even this pick from the Jazz. Okay, what about... Okay, they are not going to want to give me Carl Anthony Towns, which is rough. This is not going to be easy whatsoever. Absolutely going to be one of the hardest things we've ever tried to do on this channel. Okay. Let's leave the Grizzlies because they're not super bad. Let's go to the Hawks. Let's see what their rotation looks like. Um, if we could just upgrade and get them like a shooting guard, you know, just a little bit better of a shooting guard or a small forward, we should be good. DeAndre Hunter is a player we're going to try and trade for that. So we'll take Teague and DeAndre Hunter. And then this first round pick. See if we can bring in Chris Middleton. But I don't know if I want to take people away from teams that I have, you know. Um, Jamal Murray, he's on a team I have. We have the Pistons, I believe, as well. We have the Spurs. We have the Suns. We don't have the Timberwolves. I don't want anybody. Blazers. We have the Blazers, too. You know what? Do I want to give them Chris Middleton? Okay, I think we'll do that. So Chris Middleton is now on the Hawks. So that's a much better lineup. Okay, let me make sure that the Bucks are still good then. Um... The Bucks could use a little bit of help, but I can focus on them later. They're not somebody I'm super worried about. Let's go ahead and look at the Lakers should be fine. Mavericks should be fine. Nets should be fine. Nuggets should be fine. Pelicans. Um, if I can up, actually, we're probably going to keep Zion, but we could probably trade B Brandon Ingram to someone like the Cavs. So let's go do that. Let's trade to the Cavs. They, we will take back. What could we use? You know, we could take back, like, Sexton if we're giving them Brandon Ingram. So, um, let's go ahead and do this trade. Okay, so now, this is their starting lineup. Josh Hart, yeah, that's fine. Um, Sexton is going to probably run. Actually, Drew is going to run small forward for us. Okay, I like this team. We sh This team should be good. Um, I can make some more moves later if I need to, but the Pistons are going to need a lot of help. But luckily, we can trade like Blake Griffin and two first-round picks. That should be very valuable and try and bring in somebody really good from a team um, that we are not controlling, preferably. Uh, who are we not controlling that has a good players? Like the Clippers. Um, Portland, we're controlling Portland. Okay, so let's go to... 76ers. Oh, could we get Ben Simmons somehow on? So if we take Derrick Rose and we throw them like this first round pick, is that good enough? What if I throw them also this first round pick? What if I throw them this first round pick? And this first round pick? And this first round pick? Give them everything. Oh, okay. They don't want to give me Ben Simmons. Let's see if there is a way to trade finder for Ben Simmons and somehow bring him to Detroit. No offers found. Okay, so let's go to Team Intel. Who's rebuilding? The Raptors. We have the Raptors. Okay, Russell Westbrook is on a rebuilding team. Let's go try and get Russell Westbrook for the Pistons. So, Rockets, Russell Westbrook, I will give you back Derrick Rose. And this first. Oh, wow. They need a lot more money. Okay, so I will also be willing to throw in Brandon Knight. Okay, we can't do that. Let's go back. Let's try and bring in Russell Westbrook with Blake Griffin. Give you that pick as well. I will also give you this pick and this pick. And I'll give you Sfima, or Seko Dumboya and you give me back like Jeff Green. Wow. Okay, they don't want to do that. So let's go look at our really stacked team. Well, let's go here. Let's look at the power rankings first. So Lakers, we have them. Warriors, we have to do something to deplete the Warriors. 
The Clippers also. But then other than that, we have Milwaukee. We need to get Houston down a little bit. Toronto. Okay. If I could somehow work out something where I take like, go to the Pelicans and we propose a trade to Houston. And basically send them like Giannis, or not Giannis, Zion, and like somebody to fill, like Derek Favors. And they send me back like Clemens. Five million more, okay. So then I could send them like Etwan Moore, I guess, and they send me back Damari Carroll. And I will throw in this pick and this pick and Okay, wow, they do not want to tr Wow, I have to do something to get the Rockets worse. But we have to focus on the Pistons. So let's go to the Pistons. And um, let's tr just trade away Blake Griffin, two first round picks, see what we can get for him. <sighs> this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be very, very rough. Um, the Pacers, like this isn't bad. We could do something like that, I think. Um, and that's team that we don't control. So let's trade the him to the Pacers. And then let's bring in, um, Let's go ahead. Let's change Derrick Rose to a shooting guard, and we'll try and trade him away too. But Victor Oladipo can also go to a small forward. Uh, he stays the same. So let's try and trade Victor now, and we'll throw in two first with Victor and see if we can upgrade a little bit from somewhere. It's just we're only getting trades from the teams that we're controlling, which is just not good. The Magic, this would be interesting. We could do something like that. Um, who else don't we control? The Rockets, we could get Rocco and Eric Gordon. That wouldn't be bad. Let's go and do that. And then let's take Rocco, change him to a small forward. And we'll try and trade Rocco away as well. So we'll trade this future first. Uh, we have the Celtics, Jalen Brown. We could maybe steal Jalen Brown away. Um, other than that, I don't really know where we could send him. Yeah, I don't know where else we could send him to. Um, let's trade him to for Jalen Brown. And we will make Jalen Brown our small four. Uh, he can stay at shooting guard. We'll try and trade away Derrick Rose as well. So D Rose and two second round picks. What can we get? Zach Levine from the Bulls would be nice because we don't control the Bulls, do we? We do not. So Zach Levine from the Bulls would be clutch. Um... Anybody else? No. So Zach Levine's going to come here. And then we have to trade away TJ Warren and try to bring in a point guard. Um, Devontae Graham was there. Spencer Dinwiddie. We could afford to take Dinwiddie away from the Nets, I think. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Spencer Dinwiddie will come and play point guard for us. And do I think this team is going to be good? And I don't know what we have for big men on this team. Christian Wood and John Henson. We have to bring in a better... We definitely have to bring in a better um, big man. So let's try and trade away like John Henson with like Seku and see what we can get. Can we bring in a better big? Brandon Clark to play center wouldn't be terrible. Mitchell Robinson, that would be great for this season. Um, and he's on a team we don't have, so it wouldn't be depleting us anywhere else. So we're going to do that. And we're going to go look at their rotation. Okay. I think it would be good enough to probably make the playoffs. Raptors should be fine. Spurs might need a little bit of help. So with the Spurs, let's go ahead and try and trade away um, DeMar DeRozan and this first and this first and see what we can get. If we can bring in anybody a little bit better. Brandon Ingram's on the Cavs. We don't want to do that. Um, The Kings. We don't control the Kings. We could do this trade and we could run... DeJounte Murray at the small forward, so that would be very interesting. Um, Pacers, we could get some bonus and Blake Griffin. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. We could take John Wall, but that would just help the Warriors, or the Wizards, and we could take Wiggins, and that would just help the Warriors. So let's go ahead and go back to the De'Aaron Fox and Harrison Barnes trade, 
And then we will change DeJounte Murray to a small forward. He's an 83. And now we can trade away Aldridge. So let's take Aldridge and this first and this first and see what we can get for him. Actually, let's go back. Let's change Aldridge to a power forward before we do anything. Two firsts. What can we get for LaMarcus Aldridge? Drummond. I don't want to take anybody away from the Cavs. Um, Clint Capella is on the Hawks. We have the Hawks. Anthony Davis is on the Lakers. Okay. This might be okay because, hear me out, Anthony Davis on the Lakers. We give them Aldridge. They still probably are a playoff team. And then the Spurs are definitely a playoff team. So that's probably what we're going to do here. So, yeah, we're going to do this straight. So we have Anthony Davis, which is something I did not think would happen. So I think this team will be good enough to win the champ or not win the championship, but make the playoffs as well. So now, um, we have to, I'm going to trade finder for, um, actually we should switch teams though. I want to try and get Paul George off of the, um, Paul George off of the Clippers. So let's trade finder with the Clippers as we are the Trailblazers now and try and get Paul George. They want Dame. Okay, let's go try and build a trade for Paul George. So on the Clippers, we have a guy, Paul George. We can send them like Hassan Whiteside. That would be pretty nice. And I would also give them like this 2020 pick and this 2022 pick plus this 2021 pick and this 2023 pick. Will they do this? Wow, they are not gonna do that. Okay, so Hassan Whiteside, you know what? Let's just keep the Blazers as they are. They should actually be fine, but let's just change Whiteside to a power forward. He's a 91 now. Nurkic can start at center. All right, um, we could trade away some of their younger guys and try and bring somebody in. So if we take like uh, Simons, Nasir Little, and this first, we could probably do something there. You know, like a Brandon Clark would be pretty clutch. Uh, Karis LeVert. We could probably do Karis LeVert because LeVert should be, um, shouldn't affect the Nets too much considering they have KD and Kyrie. So we'll take LeVert, make him a small forward. And their starting lineup is looking nice. So, Cavs. Excuse me. Darius Garland. We could trade like Garland and try and upgrade a little bit. This is one team I'm super worried about. So Garland and Kevin Porter Jr. We have a bunch of firsts. Let's just try and do Jason Tatum. If I wasn't controlling them, that would be crazy. But I am controlling them. Um, any team that I'm willing to give up something from. What do the Celtics look like if I give if I get Jason Tatum? You know what? We're going to do this. That might have been a terrible move. That might have been literally one of the worst moves I've ever seen. Um, but now we're going to trade Drummond. So Drummond and this for these two first. What can we get for him? You know, if we take like Tobias Harris away from the Sixers, that'd be cool. But I already have so many small forwards. Um, Boston, we don't want to take anybody else away from Boston. We probably want to give him to Boston, honestly. Um, I need to bring in like a point guard or something. That's really, oh, D'Lo. Okay, we'll go with D'Lo. Okay, so let's go ahead he here. This team is good enough to make the playoffs now. I'm worried about Boston now. Yeah, Boston could use some help. So let's try and trade away Gordon Hayward with some picks and see if we can do anything that way. Um, Jimmy, I think the Heat still need Jimmy. LaMarcus wouldn't be bad. The Lakers would probably be fine. Or the Pacers, we could get Blake Griffin. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and send Gordon Hayward to the Lakers and take LaMarcus Aldridge back to the Celtics. And this starting lineup should be good enough to make the playoffs, I would hope. 
Um, we could take Kuzma and Kevin Porter Jr. and try and get somebody as well. So Kyle Kuzma, Kevin Porter Jr., and a 2020 pick. Brandon Clark, uh, John Collins. Those are all people on teams I am controlling, so I don't want to do that. Huh. The Thunder. Okay, let me go ahead. Make Kuzma small forward. Let's try and... I still got to get people away from the Clippers. I keep forgetting about that. So let's go to the Clippers and let's try to propose a trade. So we'll take Paul George and you can give me... Or I'll give you back Kuzma. We got to give them money too, which kind of sucks. Uh, Marcus Smart is probably the cap filler on this one. And even Rocco. And then you give me back, like, your very worst players. So, Terrence Mann and Patrick Patterson. Celtics would get $3 million more than allowed. Okay, I will also give you Darius Garland and you give me back, like, this guy. And now I have two 2020 picks I can give you as well. Okay, wow. Um, let's try and trade finder for him then. Wow, they're really not giving me anything for him. So Montrez, can we get Montrez away somehow? Daniel Tyson, oh, that's actually not bad. We'll do that. That should make them a bit worse. They're probably still going to make the playoffs. There's not a lot I can do there. Um, but I think the Celtics are good now. They should make the playoffs. Okay. Grizzlies. Grizzlies could use a little bit of help still, I think. So let's try and make some trades. Uh, we're probably gonna have to trade like Brandon Clark away and include like this pick and see if we can upgrade a little bit somewhere. Bam. I don't think I can take him away from the heat. Um, we could get Rashawn Holmes and put him at power forward. That would probably help the team a little bit. Um, Victor Oladipo's on the Rockets. That would help the team some. We're probably gonna do that. As long as there's nothing else. So, yep, Victor Oladipo is going to come to the team. And that should help a little bit. We also could use a small four. Oh, let's go ahead and put Dylan Brooks at small forward. Okay, this starting lineup's a lot better. Bench is decently solid. Hawks. Oh, Hawks are good. We can trade somebody from the Hawks. They don't need all this talent. Chris Middleton. Okay, I know what we're going to do. We're going to propose a trade. Um, we're going to try and get Paul George away from the Clippers with Chris Middleton. I will give you this first and this first. They want to give me Patrick Beverly and take Vince Carter? Fine. Okay, now we have Paul George here who we can send to... Who's our worst team? Let me see. Um... The Pistons, what's their team look like now? They're probably sitting fine. Um, the Spurs are fine. The Suns. Suns should be pretty good. We'll have to make some moves, but I don't think they need Chris Middleton. The Bucks. I'm going to do some moves with the Bucks later, but they don't need him. The Cavs don't really need him. The Celtics don't need him. The Grizzlies could use him. So let's trade Paul George to the Grizzlies. So we will propose a trade and we'll take Paul George, who is now here, and I will give you like Dylan Brooks. Oh, that's not gonna work. Um, okay, who makes a lot of money on this team then? Justice Winslow and Victor Oladipo. And you send me back um Kevin Herter. Okay, so now the Grizzlies team looks like this, which is cool by me. We're going to change Dylan Brooks. Actually, we're going to change Paul George back to a shooting guard. Okay. That's good. Let's go to the Hawks now. Um okay, this team should still be good enough. Okay, so I like the Hawks team. The Heat, we haven't even looked at the Heat. Um, I think they're probably pretty fine, but I want to make some trades if we can. Like Drogic and a couple first should be able to bring us in. Somebody, you know, D'Lo from the Cavs, I want to do that. 
Um, who could I bring in? What team do I not control? Pretty much all these teams I control here. Um, let's go ahead and make Drogic a shooting guard first off. And then let's try and trade him away. So Drogic as a shooting guard is an 83. That might help a little bit. Bledsoe, we don't want to take him away. Um, Victor Oladipo, we don't want to take him from the Hawks. Um, there's just not a lot of options out here. Zach Levine's on the Pistons, we don't want to take him away. Wow, I do not know what to do. Okay, let's go to scouting team until who is rebuilding the Hornets. We don't want anybody there. The Kings um, don't really... We could try and get DeRozan, I guess. Let's try and get DeRozan from the Kings. So, um, let's go to front office. Excuse me. Uh, DeRozan, Drogic, three million more. So, I will also send them... Um, Tyler Hero, that would be good. Okay, that's not going to be good. Um, let's send them, instead of Hero, let's go with Jay Crowder, and they send me back just like Justin James. And now we just throw in picks and try and make the money, ma or the value match up. Okay, so we got DeRozan here. So now we're going to make Jimmy Butler. Okay, DeRozan goes down to an 85. Where does Jimmy Butler go to? 87. So he's going to be our shooting guard. So we got Nunn, Butler, DeRozan, Leonard, Bam. That's solid, I think. So the Heat are good. Lakers. I want to make sure the Lakers are good. They got LeBron, Gordon Hayward, Dwight Howard. Yeah, I mean, they could upgrade a little bit, I guess. You know, if we take, like, um, Danny Green with... Man, I don't know. Carson Edwards and like a first maybe we could do something that way try and bring in someone I just don't know what team we're getting you know like the Hornets there we could probably do something like that um yeah we'll th make that Hornets trade just because it is a little bit of an upgrade for us and try and bring in a little bit better of a shooting guard and we should be pretty good so let's trade like KCP, Rondo, first round pick. Um, We'll go with this trade here. That should help us out a little bit. Okay, that rotation is set. Uh, the Lakers should be fine. They have LeBron. The Mavericks, let's try and upgrade over Tim Hardaway Jr. a little bit, and we should be good. So, THJ and two first. Um, okay, what team? Goran Dragic, that's good. Okay. Now, this is what this team looks like. Um, I like the team. Who are we forgetting? Pistons, are they good? Pistons should be fine. Raptors. Raptors should be good enough to make the playoffs. Um, Suns. Suns is someone I haven't touched yet. So, we're going to go ahead and try and upgrade our point guard. We got Rubio and a couple picks. Um, let's see if we can get a better point guard in here. I don't know what team we could snag a point guard from, though. That's the thing. Um, there's just no point guards out here to be had. Okay, let's go ahead and try and find a point guard. So, the Warriors, I mean, there's no way we can get Steph Curry, right? Not, yeah, I don't think there's any way we could get Steph Curry. I think we could maybe get Ben Simmons, though. So let's propose a trade to the 76ers and we will send them um, Cam Johnson. Oh, he doesn't have that much value. Okay, um, we'll send them Ricky Rubio. They'd have to send back six million more. Okay, um, but first off, let's just throw some picks in here. And this pick and they send me back. Do they have a bad contract at all? Not really. Yeah, not really. Um, okay, so we can't send out Ricky, so let's send out, like, Aaron Baines. Okay, we'll also send you this first round. This isn't going to work out. Okay, um, that's not going to work. 
So 76ers are going to be kind of tough to get. Um, OKC. Could we try and get Shea Gilgis Alexander somehow out of OKC? Or even Chris Paul? Booker, okay, that's not going to happen. Aiton, that's not going to happen. Okay. I think all of our teams are set. I think we're pretty much at the point where this is what we're going to live with. And if it works out, it works out. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, it looks like there's probably... I think we can... My hope is to get at least 12 of these guys in the playoffs. That's the hope. I'm going to simulate partway through the season. We'll see how everybody looks. Then if I have to start making some more moves, I will do that. But I'll catch you guys there. So we're here at the first of the year. The Grizzlies are looking good. We're going to go check out the standings and see what happens. So the Rockets are still good, which is very unfortunate. The Warriors are good. The Clippers are good. The Thunder are good. Just don't know what we can do. Who's bad? on The Suns are terrible. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, let's go to the Suns. Let's help the Suns out a little bit. And let's try and trade. Okay, first off, let's go to... Huh. Let's go to the Celtics, see how many picks they have. Yeah, we're going to trade picks from the Celtics to the Suns. So, we're going to trade this pick, this pick, this pick. I'm just going to fill it up with picks. And we're just going to take back... All we're going to take back is this 20, 24 second. Okay, so Suns have a lot more picks now. Let's go back to the Suns, and we are going to try to trade Devin Booker for James Harden. So James Harden, and we will give you Devin Booker. And we will also give you Mikhail Bridges. And you have to send back Chris Clemens to us. And I'm going to give you a bunch of 2020 picks. I have like three of them. And I will also give you this 2021 pick. <sighs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay. Um, Devin Booker's got to stay there. Um... What can we do? We could try and trade him for like Kawhi or something. I wonder if Kawhi is untouchable. Kawhi Leonard is untouchable. Um, What about on the Warriors? Steph, not likely a trade can be made for Steph, but that's not to say that it couldn't. So let's try and trade for Steph and Curry. Um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time because at the end of the day, if I can't do it, I can't do it. We have to send out six million more. So let's throw Cam Johnson and we'll also throw in Mikhail Bridges. And they have to send back Juan Toscano. And we will also take back Michael Mulder. And then we have picks to give you. And one more. And if we can't do this, then all right. I think we're just going to have to simulate the rest of the season, cut our L's, and uh, just see what happens. So I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. Okay, I just thought of something. We could turn the trade deadline off. It might be too late. I should have done this earlier. But what I'm going to do is I am going to trade away. I have the trade deadline, deadline turned off. What's going on? I can't make trades i literally the trade deadline should be like right here it's off um let me go check out the settings trade deadline is off um yeah i guess we can't make trades now huh well we're just gonna have to cut our losses then I was going to go and try and trade like LeBron or something to them and make them like really good for the rest of the season. Guess it is what it is. We will continue with the rest of the season and we will just see who makes the playoffs or not. So I'll catch you guys at the end of it. 
So season wrapped up here, all of the awards. We are gonna have to go and check out some team stats quick. I'm just gonna run through the stats of all the um, teams and you guys can check them out. I'm not gonna pause it, everyone. I'm just gonna show you like the top five on each team. You can pause if you wanna see them. I'm not gonna focus too much on it. I'm more worried about how many teams we got. I'm hoping 12. I have no idea how many we got though. So we're just gonna make sure we get through every team. You can see the stats of every team. And then we'll see who made the playoffs and who did not. So, um, all right, those are the stats. So let's go over here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six on the, oh, we got all of our teams in the East. Let's go. So we got eight and six. So we got 14. So basically it was just Houston and LA. LA was an eight seed. And then Houston was a four seed. So let's go check out the standings. Who did not make it of our teams? Obviously Phoenix, and then New Orleans was tied to make it. So we almost had 15. We were just a tiebreaker away from having 15. And then Phoenix, if I could have traded away um, LeBron and someone else to Phoenix, I definitely could have probably got them into the playoffs. But we got 14. Not mad at it. Let's see if one of our teams win the playoffs. Obviously, somebody from the East is going to make it to the championship. And I'm guessing that somebody from the West will too. We got a 6 out of 8 shot out there. And now all of our teams were in the Western and Eastern Conference Finals. And even the round before that as well. And the Heat go on to win the championship. All right. So that was pretty crazy. But I hope you guys did enjoy. That was the 16-team playoff challenge. We got 14. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's how many six rings got as well. And I don't remember how many Crush got. I think six rings got 16 and I or 14. I think Crush got like 12. Um, but yeah, but that was it. Make sure you guys check out their videos. Um, they, theirs were good too. They came out like a week or so ago. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. I had a ton of fun making this. I hope you had a ton of fun watching this. If you are new, like I said at the beginning of the video, please subscribe. Over half of you aren't, and it would really mean the world to me. Also, turn on the post notifications and like this video. Let's try and get to 50 likes. Other than that, as always, it's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.